Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today we're not, we're not really here to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. We're here to see the Icons of the Realms starter set miniatures. And this particular package here that's sitting in front of you is inspired by a YouTube channel called Blanco. And he does lots of miniatures videos. He does truckloads of them. And the reason I'm doing this is because he made a very good point about YouTube and what they promote. And they promote doing high-end products that are difficult to find, that most people can't afford. And this Icons of the Realm Starter Set Miniature box is actually very rare now. It's hard to get. It's very expensive. You can buy it on Amazon for about $50 and if you have to pay for any kind of shipping whatsoever the chances are it's going to cost you more than $50 and of course if you've got change in currency yet again more money and the reason being the manufacturers are no longer producing this product they stopped producing this particular set and this is the one that has Dritzt in it the Dark Elf the important and, and very famous Dark Elf is in here they have started producing another box set and that is got a similar sort of um, idea but not the same miniatures, not exactly the same miniatures and it's a lot cheaper, it's like $15 on Amazon. And on top of this, it's not like an unboxing where you are surprised about what you're going to see. The thumbnail and the you can actually see the miniatures. This is what I like about miniatures for players is when you can actually see the miniatures because you don't really want to buy anything that's a surprise. What you want is exactly what you can see. And this sort of product, the way they've packaged it so you can see everything, you're given a price and you can make a, you can make a decision about whether you want to pick this up or not. I think that's actually a very sensible thing to do. The only thing they haven't done is started to realize they need to do this with single miniatures rather than trying to produce a pack and get players to buy a pack of miniatures they need to do them with singles. So, let's open this up. Now, I've had this sitting in my drawer since 2014. I purchased it for New in New Zealand for $20, which is probably cheaper if you were in, in America a long time ago. And I've never opened it. And I've always wanted to open it. And it's because of a particular miniature in here. And it has nothing to do with drits, if you were wondering. So, let's, let's crack it open. Because it's not a surprise, we know exactly what the miniatures are in there. You can see it on the thumbnail. So I'm just going to just slice in, get my knife in there, finally open this thing up, get the miniatures out. And then you're going to have a closer look. So as I said, a miniature line that no longer gets produced, These particular, this particular set, but there is a new Icons of the Realm starter set miniature collection that you can pick up as a player and uh, I actually thought that, that was a, a smart move. Alright, right. don't need that. Really we don't need the packaging. Pull out the miniatures. Ah. Finally, it's happened. I finally opened it up. I can't believe it. Alright, here we go. So let's get all the miniatures out. One by one. Strength thread. Oh, my fingers. I cut my fingernails too far back. That's that's. The, here's the problem. Okay. Uh, pull them out. All right. Let's get rid of the packaging. All right. So let's start off. I'm going to start with drips. Okay. I think that's probably sensible. This is the dark elf that's so famous. I'm just going to bring it up so you can. I want to smooth the miniature to the side so the white sort of helps. So you can see, this is the miniature that so many people wanted to grab hold of when this was first released. And as you can see, he's not too bad. Two swords, the familiar two swords, and a little cape and all the rest. So that is Dritzt. So we'll put Dritzt over here for now. He's, he's not gone. He's not gone, he's not forgotten. I'll put him over there. Alright, so next is, this is a now, the bottom of these things are almost impossible to read. This is a Sun Elf female wizard, which I kind of like. Getting um, wizard miniatures is actually pretty hard. There aren't that many of them out. 
Uh, that way, this way. Okay, so and I'll just turn and rotate so you can see. In fact, I only need one hand. That's what I think I, I mean, I think I only need one hand. Quite a cool miniature. I always like the fact that she's holding this ball of fire and it's translucent. Uh, there. So, pretty cool miniature. I don't think I can get it much closer than that. So that's uh, one wizard. And then we've got here a very small individual. And this is, oh, can you, my eyes are so like, they get, they're getting old here. So this is a halfling, halfling rogue. And I'm just going to bring him up so you can see nice and close. Nice, nice. And which way? So this is the problem when you look at the camera and then you start trying to figure out the position for everybody else. So this has got a cape and just basically a, I mean, whether it's a dagger or just a short sword for a, a halfling, I have no idea. So that is the next miniature. Let's put that one over here, I guess. And next we have, this looks like, oh, it's a ranger. And it is a human female ranger. Female characters always, that sort of miniatures are always a, a, a great find. So uh, let's just move it around a little bit, turn it a little bit. Everybody seems to have a cloak apart from the, uh, the wizard. But not a bad miniature. Okay. All right. Let's move that one over there for now. And next, we've got obviously this is a dwarf. And it's a female dwarf cleric. A gold dwarf female cleric. So let's get closer. Let's move my drink glass out of the way so you can see. And in the middle, in the middle, Fred, in the middle. Here we go. And she's got a pretty impressive weapon just sitting on her back. She's not wearing a cloak. All right. Okay. Now here's the miniature that I've always wanted to get my hands on, which is why I bought the box set in the first place. And that was the Barbarian. Oh gosh, can I, can I even get it close enough and in the center? My uh, coordination is just fantastic. So this is the fellow I've always wanted to get hold of. I am fond of the Barbarian. I haven't actually played a Barbarian that much. In fact, I may not have ever played a Barbarian. But the axe, the, uh, the fury cloak, and just the, the whole character. This is the reason why I really wanted this box set. And it's also the reason why I'm doing this video. For those of you who are wondering what the heck is going on. Alright, so I'm doing this because I've been working on I've been talking about it for ages. I was going to do another class video series. It, I mean, I've done video series on other classes before. And I've been promising to do the Barbarian for so long. Well, I can tell you now, I finally got myself organized, I've got everything prepared, and it's probably going to be about 15 to 16 videos, and they'll get pumped out every day, apart, apart from on the weekends for me, uh, which is obviously not the weekend for you, but my days off, I will be doing something else. And this is all going to be targeted towards helping new players and existing players understand and learn how to play the Barbarian and I want this miniature for the demonstrations. That's why I've opened it up in the first place. On top of that, I'm hoping those videos are also going to be really useful to Dungeon Masters who are trying to educate their players on how the rules work and they'll be able to use the videos from, from my channel to sort of as a reference, as a guide of some kind. I actually really like all of the videos. Um, sorry, I, I like all of these miniatures. This is still my favorite, and the wizard would definitely be the next one for me. Those two sort of stand out the most in terms of uh, the ones I like. Um, you might have your own favorites. That's fine. Everybody does. But I honestly think a product like this, where you actually see all of the miniatures, the only hassle is it's a pack rather than individuals. 
This one is horrifically expensive. It's like selling diamonds on, on YouTube. I mean, it's not diamonds as such, but it's pretty expensive. But you can buy the cheaper version, and down in the description there is links to all of that. So, look, if you found this useful or interesting in some way, great. Please like the video. You can share the video with somebody. That might help them. And it's not just about the fact that I've done a, a quick review. The paint jobs on these are they're never great. I feel like the, the only one that has a reasonable amount of uh, detail and is, is nice and tidy is is dritzed which really uh, that's not even saying very much i honestly think the barbarian and the wizard are the better ones but yeah share and like the video if you think there'll be somebody else who might find this useful if you found it useful great if you want to support my channel watch more of my videos i usually do one every single day there's about 400 of them now i don't do patreon but down in the description you'll find affiliate links and this is where you can buy the original, the one I'm showing you now, there's like one left on Amazon. And as I said, it's stupidly expensive. And you really, you know, you have to have your head examined to go and buy it because it's so expensive. But there is another one that's the same sort of thing. It's called Icons of the Realm Starter Set. And it's about $15. And you get quite a few miniatures. You get a whole bunch. You, you, you're going to get... <laughs> six miniatures that you can actually see so it's not a surprise you're not just gambling or doing anything silly like that now if you have any feedback put it in the chat box otherwise down in the comments and hey till next time keep rolling those 20s